Have you ever wanted a build that can play defense, shoot threes, pass the thing, and it could slash a little bit, but it's the best defensive guard that's small on NBA 2K23? If you have, tune into the video. Let's go. So it's good, y'all. You know, you seen the intro, but this is like, um, this is like a Drew Holiday, Pat Bad, Fuse the Curry type build. You guys are gonna love this one, bro. It's different too. It's real different. Y'all gonna love this. So look, it's a point guard. Handed does not matter. We're gonna go right-handed for this case. And let's put the number zero because your match is gonna be scoring zero points on you. This is also more maybe like a um like it's honestly whatever you want it to be, but let's say like a secret underground five build type beat, right? So I have the numbers set up right here on my phone. You know, got the build for you guys and all that. Your height is 6'1. Yes, your height is 6'1. Max wingspan. Max wingspan. You're gonna leave the weight how it is. If you want, you can technically turn it up, but I didn't turn it up. We left it how it was. Boom. Now that you're here, here's the stats. We're gonna start off with the defense because this is what this build is meant for. 97 on the perimeter defense. 99 on the steal. You guys know how steals is. You need the 99. 64 on the block. 76 on the defensive rebound. And 71 on the offensive rebound. And boom. Actually, also, you get a now you, you get a 39 interior defense. Nothing too crazy on the interior defense. Boom. You guys see right here, you get 31 defense back. That is insane. Let's go to physicals next. 84 on the acceleration, 87 on the speed. Now, you can tune that around however you like, but they're uh, 80 vertical. That helps you get more blocks. You can tune that however you like, but because this build is more so like a lockdown, I was thinking it's going to be off ball and on ball, so I kind of got a mixture of both. But realistically, you can lower your speed and put your acceleration. But for my style, I'm putting it like this, right? Cool. Now, onto the ball handler. This is probably the worst part about the build because you don't get Hall of Fame quick first step. Just to let you know, you could, but you won't be able to get these dunks that I definitely think you would like to have. And so that's why I put this like this. 86 on the ball handle. Uh, 75 on the speed ball. So you get Michael Jordan and 70 on the passing accuracy. You should have 18. Yep. 18 playmaking matches like this. You can tune this up a little bit, like I said. Maybe adjust the dunk a little bit or the three or anything like that. But for right now, I'm gonna leave like this for you guys, right? All right. Now, okay, the audience requires scare for a second. 87 on the three ball, 87 on the three. Boom. 74 on the mid range and 71 on the free throw. None crazy. You get 20 shooting badges. None too crazy. Now, you go to the dunk, you get an 85 dunk. Uh. And a, it should be an 80 layup. Let's see right here. There we go. And then you're left with 17, 20, 18, 31. I'll get an extra point. Uh, honestly, when I made it the first time, I did not get an extra point. So, oh, yes, I did because I had this at 58. Here we go. But this is what I mean, that you can turn this down to 55. Turn down your layup a little more. Still want that 17, right? Still want that 17. And then you can probably try to turn this up and lower some more of your defense or speed or something to get that 89 that you need for hall of fame quick first step you can probably even lower your dunk to 80 for the quick drops and then just get the 89 like this it's all up to you for this video purpose though we're gonna leave we're gonna we're gonna do it like this with the quick drops we're gonna do the quick not quick yeah the quick drop version with the 89 so you get hall of fame and the playmaking but your playmaking badges is still kind of skeptical right now i'm not gonna lie but you still get limitless takeoff, which is all you need. You're going to have to put an extra badge there so you can get that silver. You won't be able to core silver, but it is what it is, right? Now, onto this part, uh, you get two takes, sharp lockdown. Uh, we're going to go double perimeter badge drop, mad broken. And just to let you guys know, I have gym rat and I have accelerator. So, you know, the power of gym rat and accelerator is unstoppable. Now, let me stop playing. That's... That's how the titles be. But look, two-way three-point shot credit. They compare you to Steve Francis, man. I know he got the nice drill moves on here anyway. De'Aaron Fox, you know, swiper. You feel me? He quick. And Fred Van Vliet, man. You know, he been, he been he's doing his thing. He been grinding. He been getting up there, right? Man, some all-stars. Raptors jersey go hard, by the way. Let me show you guys how I to set my badges up. But I'm going to honestly call it a day after that. Y'all see the defense. The defense is immaculate. So we're going to go there first because that's the purpose of this build. Yo, put in chase down all the way to silver you want to chase down as high as you can because why not right uh you want rebound chase so you can help yourself get them boards pick dodger of course you want that hall of fame get past all of that right and you need like one more badge here so let's put on the off ball pet just so we can get the one extra badge now you have 21 uh glove of course you want glove hall of fame most broken badge in the game clubs you want you're gonna run it silver 
or you're gonna run it Hall of Fame. Nothing in between. You run it silver, then you're gonna run Challenger Gold. And then you can run up Clips Hall of Fame, you run Challenger Bronze. It's all up to you. I'd personally run this silver and I'd run this gold because Clips Silver and Clems Gold does not have a big difference on the boost, but of course Clems Hall of Fame does. And this is all without coring any badge, by the way. So if you core up a badge, let's say you core up Clems, uh, you get six more, boom. And then you can also get Intercepted Bronze or you can get Workhorse Gold. Of course you can enter time, you feel me, do what you gotta do. But you get the Glove, Clems, and Challenger, which are all essential badges for a lockdown. You're gonna be nasty. On to the finishing, nothing much here. Fearless Finisher right here. Acrobat right here. You already have seven down here. Giant Slayer gold for the 10. And then Limitless Takeoff, boom. For the one. And like I said, you can get one extra badge and get this silver if you want the Quake job to be crazy, which I do recommend. I do recommend. So get that one extra point right there. But because we can't right here, I guess we're just going to do what we got to do. Let's say you were to core that up. You know, and you want to area wizard or something. Or masher, I guess. You could do just that. But of course, you're going to get Limitless Takeoff silver. That's the plan. Put that one extra point, put it right there. Maybe work on corner up posterizer first. So you could do this, you see what I mean? And then you can put that one extra point right here on silver for that. It's all personal preference, of course. Now, shooting. Shooting is a little, you get 20. You get more than enough than what you need. Silver right here, green machine, gold. Guard up, silver. Uh, you get nine extra points, okay, nine, two. Uh, you want limitless range, silver. And then you're gonna need a couple badges right here as well. But I actually think I could turn that down. There we go. You're only gonna, oh, you're still gonna need two. So it's gonna be one point right here and two in shooting. Though realistically, actually, you're gonna end up core agent threes. Agent threes is real easy to core. So I say work on core agent threes first and then put on limitless range. So I actually don't even need a badge right here. Never mind that. You don't need a badge in this area. Do this. And whoa, everybody's texting. And you'll be good just like this. Nothing crazy. Playmaking, you're gonna, bro. How you mute notifications, y'all? I don't know. But quick first step, Hall of Fame. I'm finna have to leave that chat, bro. Uh, quick first step, Hall of Fame. Unpluckable gold, of course. Now you're gonna need, you're gonna need a badge down here, right? Handles for days. Core that up. Clamp breaker. Gold. And you're set. Just like this, you're good. Yeah, it's not as much as I personally would like. Actually, your core up clamp breaker. Put on this. And now you get one extra badge. It's not as much as I would like. So if you want more, you could maybe put two. So you got one. Actually, put one on finishing. Put the rest on playmaking. Yeah, put one on finishing. Put three on playmaking. So you have four. Get bell out bronze. Boom, you have one more. And then you can run up the dimer just like that. And you're actually set. You put three right here with the one on finishing. You have 16, 20, 21, 31. That is nice. That is magnificent. But honestly, y'all, that's it for the video. Um... Let me know how y'all feel about this build down below. Let me know if y'all think it's like Pat Bev on steroids or you feel me? And no, when I say that YouTube, I do not mean drugs. No, I am a good kid. I am a good kid. But uh, I love you guys and I'm out. Deuces. Subscribe to join the Kempire. I forgot to mention it. Yeah.